Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking about how I travel only using a carry-on luggage. Yes, that is right. I, for the last 10 years, have only traveled on a plane with a carry-on bag. I have not checked a bag since 2013. That was the last time I walked up to the agent and said, here I am, ready to check a bag. I posted about this because you guys know I've gone on several trips. I've gone to Cabo for a few days. I've gone on a six day to New York and Chicago trip. I've gone on several trips more recently and then throughout my life I've gone on trips. And I promise you, I have not checked a bag. And the comments, the DMs, everybody was like, tell us your ways, tell us what you do. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you what I do. I am actually going on a trip. I had to wait till I came on the trip. I got all those comments and I was like, I'll, I'll show you guys, but I have to have a trip coming up. I have a trip coming up in 30 minutes. I need to go and leave to the airport and uh, catch that flight. So you'll see a vlog where I look exactly the same because I'm, I'm going on a trip on a cruise actually um, flying down to Miami so that's the flight portion of it and then getting on a cruise that is a four day cruise so one day in Miami four days on this cruise so five days total being gone is packed in this little 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 suitcase and so I'm gonna go through this video quickly and you might also notice throughout this video my nails might change as I'm like inside the actual suitcase that's because uh, I recorded this whole video I recorded it all the other day on this weekend when I was actually packing but then it was so light the light was bright so bright that it was a glare on my face and so you couldn't see me clearly at the beginning and I was like I like quality so I could put this video up but I'm about quality so there are portions where my nails will be blue those are the pre vacation nails now that we on vacation day the nails are gonna be this color so just work with me through that but for starters I nine times out of ten fly American Charlotte is a hub for Americans so the carry-on things I will be talking about and the way that I pack and the one item and the backpack and personal item that I bring is really with American or Delta in mind I flown Delta before too and they have the same you know 24 inch carry-on backpack situation I know Southwest Spirit some other airlines their carry-on situation is different and I've just never flown with them so I'm not fully aware if this same carry-on situation works across carriers but for American for Delta and for most places that allow you to have that regular 24 inch carry-on this will work so I always have my carry-on which is this and then I also have my personal item that goes under my seat it's always a backpack so this is the backpack we'll be going through today it's packed in my prior video it wasn't packed so it'll be good to show you guys what is actually in this bag so purchasing of my suitcase the suitcase itself you guys have seen it again in several of my vlogs and my videos it is and I don't know if it's gonna zoom in so you guys can see it's an Amazon basics luggage and I had got it maybe about four years ago and I got so many questions on it on Instagram and I kept responding to everyone unfortunately when I go back to my order confirmation from Amazon the link I click leads me back to unavailable 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 but then one of my friends real life friends who follows me on Instagram shout out to you Stephanie was like girl is this it so she sent me a link and it looked exactly like my bag the only difference is mine has this TSA lock on here which I never use anyway so it doesn't really matter matter but that was the only difference between my luggage and that luggage also there was a price difference that luggage was $99 when I bought my luggage um it was 40 something dollars I'll insert a picture I sent it to her I was like yes girl it's the exact same luggage but that price looking a little different inflation is real out here but it, it looked exactly the same it had the dimensions it's a 23 inch luggage it does have the size it does have the extender option so if you want to extend the situation um, you can. I don't like extending because some people are very picky about that. Some gate agents, some when you get up there, they're like, mm, you can't come on with the extender open. So I try to pack with not opening the extender in mind. So if I'm going on a road trip and I'm packing this, I don't mind opening the extender. It doesn't really matter. But when I'm going to plane, I make sure that when I'm packing, I don't even consider the extended space that extender gives me. Also, another thing, I plan my outfits in advance. I know what I'm going to wear. So that's a big thing. Thing. that's the a lot of people's hang up it's like I don't know what I'm gonna wear until I get there I don't know the weather I don't know what's gonna happen I might need a raincoat might not so I need to bring more 
I look into weather, I know a lot of places where I'm going, and it is different going to a colder weather place than it is a hotter weather place in terms of what I pack, but I've still been able to go to Michigan in the dead of January with that lake effect snow for, I think I was there for four days with sweaters and bundled up and all of that and still packed this same suitcase. Now the suitcase again from Amazon, the backpack is from Target. And the great thing about this backpack, you'll probably see a clip of it too with my other hand, but I have my bag. This is my on the plane bag. So this is what I carry onto the plane. And then I also have a walking around bag. So this bag, non-distinct, also Target bag, got it years ago, nothing label about it because I'm not trying to walk around with my Kate Spade and all that. I'm really, you know, trying to be demure on my trippity trip trip. So I keep this bag on the inside because this is when I get to the location that I'm at. I'm not wearing this big backpack. I'm typically, you know, wearing this as my go-to backpack. The great thing about it is size-wise, one thing I keep in my backpack I got a lot of I'll go through this in a moment but I have like this is a tripod y'all before I get questions I, I know I get side eyes it's a tripod y'all it's for taking photos get get your mind out um the great thing about this too is I can if the bag is big enough that I can transfer my tripod when I'm doing my walking around and all of that so you guys know I'm a solo traveler a lot of the time, so I need my, my tripod for my pictures, for my pictures. So that is the cool thing about this backpack. So I put my tripod, I can put my, my, my other gimbal, my gimbal that I use sometimes for stabilization, I can fit that in there. My phone, I can fit pretty much anything in this bag. Uh, my camera, so that is good to have. Got this bag from Target. Everything I'm talking about that seems important, I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. Now the first thing about my luggage is I do have this little attachment to it. Um, it's just so that I can recognize it because I have gone to the airport before and there has been literally somebody with my exact same suitcase and I was like, how are we going to make it through this process? Luckily I went through a different TSA line but I was like, there is nothing distinctive about my suitcase that will um, help me figure this out. So in the future I got this and it has, you know, just been one thing to help me differentiate it because people like basic items especially it was a man who had the suitcase now again I packed this already so you will see but one thing I talk about in my other video is the importance of rolling your clothing now in this I have a majority of my clothing and my swimsuit so all really all of my clothing and then some of my swimsuits some of my swimsuits I had to put with my undergarments and uh, sleepwear but other than that everything is in this packing cube I don't know how to feel about this packing cube it's not like I hate it um, but it's not like I have anything to compare it to in the packing cube community um, so I fit everything rolled up in here so shorts dresses mainly dresses and swimsuits maybe a top as well and then I talk about how I line my belt within the suitcase itself and the great thing about this belt in particular is that it's a reversible belt you've seen me wear this on several clothing haul videos it's a black belt when I need it to be it's a camel belt when I need it to be last time I wore it was camel um, probably in my vlog for Chicago you saw me wear it and it's black form that's a great thing bring versatile items bring items that can be multi purpose like so that you know if I do want to wear it don't have to bring a black and a camel belt I could bring one that reverses itself so line that within my packing cube or even in my luggage I, itself I could line it but making sure to line that so that again it's not cutting up on space is crucial in this situation but basically most of the time no matter the trip this first section is always taken up by my primary clothing so all my clothing typically fits inside of the left side compartment so that's what I do I zip it up and then on top of that I typically um, keep my hair care products in this so um, I got my scarf I always gotta have my scarf got my edge control I don't know how they let me come on board with these edge control I've gone through many, many a trips with this my friend was like girl you got a full-size edge control I was like until they tell me I have to throw this away I'm gonna keep bringing it now granted it is close to being empty so if they did catch me one day slipping one the TSA person made me throw it away I do always keep a little Littler one in there too so I always have that as well as of course my toothbrush from my edge control and then you know 
special feminine hug. If something were to happen on this trip, I I know it won't be on during this trip, but you never know. You never know what could happen. Um, a brush as well as hair care products. On this side of my suitcase, so bringing this over, um, my liquids. So I have my first bag, which is typically my facial items. So Pond's dry skin cream. We got some cleanser. We have my Mac Fix Plus. We have some lip products. We have pretty much all my stuff for that. And then when we get to, um, I need my toothbrush. I need my um, body wash, need my toothpaste all those things and then for just regular you know body stuff i have my lotions body wash deodorants all of that that was something i got a question about from someone was like i would do the carry on life but how do you get your items like your your body washes your stuff like that travel size everything travel size everything is how i do this never had any problem have used this these methods every single time so i keep it by tooth body face tooth body face and that's where I put them right here um, in this compartment which I hope I packed on the video is just my underwear bras my jammies and a couple more swimsuits and on the side is where I put my flip-flops now this is different for this trip because it's a flip-flop heavy trip last trip I didn't wear any flip-flops I wore solely sneakers throughout the trip because I was doing a lot of walking and that's how it's different when I am doing a lot of walking I'm wearing tennis shoes how do I get away with packing tennis shoes as if one I wear one on the plane and the second pair I will put in my suitcase and I will line it with the socks inside of the shoe itself so make sure that you're lining that shoe to to maximize space make sure that you're putting the socks in the actual shoe but again this is a beach trip so I have three pairs of flip-flops and of course I will wear one pair of shoes on the plane itself so that is that and that's everything that's in this actual suitcase no extender so moving on to my lovely backpack of this go around and for this it does when you open it it opens and again looks just like how a suitcase lining would be too so i have those two sides um so in this i keep typically i haven't put my camera in here yet because i have to block the intro i don't pack the camera that i'm recording on this is my recording for at home videos my vlogging camera is separate but it would fit right here then i have my gimbal for um when you've seen in some of my vlogs where the camera's following me and you guys are like you're not solo traveling who's holding that camera um technology technology exists you guys so i can have something following me just with a gimbal for stabilization and then my tripod is what i use for my pictures of course um people have asked for a tutorial it's literally just like a tripod you can use a bluetooth remote it comes with the remote i lost mine but the remote goes in here and it comes with that so you use that to click 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 take your photos um i use my apple watch the your apple watch does have a camera remote feature on it so if you're an apple user you've seen the little camera camera at the bottom so put my phone here open that up voila take picture take picture take picture take picture um so that is what I do I wish there was more to it like you guys asked for a whole video and it's like I can't um explain it any further so that is that I also keep all my extra batteries my chargers I have a lot of headphones from all the big bus tours that I go on when I'm in a city so I, I don't know why I save them but I have a, a, a whole heap of audio headphones for bus tours Apple watch charger iPad charger all of that goes in here so got all of that and that is it for this side this zippy part of the situation I have um, this book that we're supposed to be reading for work that I have yet to crack open. I'm hoping that I'll get to read it during this trip, but I'm not making it a priority. It's about relaxation, but if I do find a moment for reading, maybe. Um, I do also keep my mirror in here. So my mirror, it's just like, let me turn it on so you guys can see. It's just like this. So it's a mirror that can be bright light. You can change the lighting structure of it. So if you want cooler, brighter, all of that it's just so that of course when you go places to hotels they have a mirror for you in the bathroom but I don't like doing my makeup in my bathroom if you watch my videos or my vlogs you see I'm always doing it in my beauty room because it's right by natural light I love doing my makeup beside a window if I can but most of the time there's not a mirror right beside a window so I can make a mirror by a window as well as I have my wallet in here for additional but I keep most of my 
cards that I really, really need on me. Um, but this is just like insurance cards. Something happens down there. I have that. Of course, with this being the trip that it is, sunscreen, even if it wasn't the trip that it was, sunscreen is important. Um, I also bring my adapter um, because I got this for my first ever cruise, maybe like six years ago. I got this because I realized that cruise rooms a lot of times have one or two plugs. And if you're sharing a room with somebody, you need to extend those plugs. You got to have a, my Apple Watch, my phone, my iPad, my external charger. Things got to charge. And this sometimes still ain't even enough for all my devices. But I keep that in here as well as my makeup. I also always have travel makeup it's travel size of everything so my brushes and then we of course have foundations we have palettes I love palettes more for traveling because you can use more colors and have that variety same thing if my blush if I'm feeling one way about a blush I have multiple blush options I also in this unit keep my little scissors again they're not big scissors they're my little tiny baby scissors because in case I need to cut some strands of hair. Now, yes, this is tedious. And if I had a full-size luggage, I could check a bag with scissors in it. But I'm not checking a whole bag just so I can bring full-size adult scissors on board a plane. No, ma'am. I am bringing my little scissors. That is that for that compartment. Just put that all in here. We put the bag for the actual vacation. So the bag that I carry with me, it stays with me. Now, since we're past that, let's just go into the zippers real quickly. Um, for this, I do keep my Tylenol, my travel size Tylenol. I only bought the, don't think I'm going to the store buying the travel size every single time. I bought the travel size container once so that I could put the refills in here. So when I use this up, I just put more from my own house stash in here so that I'm not repurchasing. Because this is like $3 and you can get a whole bottle of 50 for like $3. So... That's what I do. I bought the little one so that I can just tuck this away. I have pens, pe pencils. If I'm going somewhere like um, Cabo, you need to fill out the immigration forms on the plane. So have a pen in a bag that is accessible to you when you go somewhere international and you're going to have to fill out the, the customs. Was it immigration or customs? You guys know what I mean. You have to fill that paperwork out before you get back into the state. So have that. I also keep my headphones in here so that they can be connected to either my phone or my iPad, depending on what I use. That's why I like the Bluetooth ones. They connect to whatever device. I have my, of course, mask in here. This is probably not the mask that I'm going to be wearing, but in case there's a quick emergency where they're like, put on a mask right now, I just grab for this mask. I also always pack an external charger, always, always. You never know when your phone's gonna die or you're in a place where you're really gonna need that access. External charger, so that's why I'm, I keep a, one of my chargers close by. Plug this up, plug this into my phone, good to go. I'm always that friend. All my friends know I have one, and so they use mine all the time. They gotta buy one now too. If y'all are watching this video, buy an external charger because I can't be the one on the trips all the time and y'all using my charger like, it's, it's cheap. It's cheap. I'll link mine down below. Um, and this suit, okay, and this one, I have my um, vaccination card. So, of course, since it's a cruise, um, you don't have to be vaccinated to be on a cruise, I don't think, anymore. But it does change the timeline and when you need to get tested for your cruise. So you have to, I think it's one day if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated. It's two days if you're unvaccinated. As well as I need my passport or you don't need a passport for a cruise either. I think you can have your birth certificate but if you have a passport why would you not bring your passport and then also my luggage tag I talked about this in my cruise video I made one like four three years ago I talked about this is just a tag that you can use because you do have to tag your luggage when you're getting on the ship and since I'm going on a plane first I don't want to um, staple it to my luggage now and when I get to the hotel there might not be a stapler so to alleviate all that I have um, this that I'm going to be attached to my luggage and then I will pass it off to the people at the place so it's just one of those things that tells your room you if you've been on a cruise this is specific to cruises this is not something you need for every single trip that you go on but I keep those close to the chest as well as in my last compartment um, the side which this is very easy and accessible so I, I love this about this backpack is because I don't have to open the big compartment to be able to get my iPad. So, you know, when you go through TSA, you got to take out your iPad. This makes it so easy and convenient to be able to just reach to the side. 
And take it out. It has so many good compartments. And then in here, I also keep a folder. It's a folder that I have my vaccination reports and all my documentation for that in here. So all of my I past, that, I'm, I'm clear, I'm COVID free. Took a test yesterday, got my results. And so now I'm good to go. So um, I keep that in there. Also additional luggage tags. And so if something happens to my other one, uh, my set sale pass, just in case that something happens to my phone. Like your girl is prepared. She might be overly prepared. So that is everything that I pack and how I'm able to effectively pack in a carry-on. I know they make the pumps now. I've seen them on TikTok where you can pump your stuff and you pack the pump with you and you kind of blow and get all the air out of your packing cubes or your packing square so that you can fit a lot, a lot in your suitcases. I know that's an option. I haven't gotten quite there yet. I think when I'm at a point where this doesn't help or I need more and more clothing, I might get to that area. Yes, I know I'm gonna get questions. What if you wanna buy stuff when you're there? That is a thing, however, I've bought things in LA and uh, New York. You've seen me buy stuff and I still have a little bit of wiggle room. I got a little bit of space to kind of, and if I, worst comes to worst, this has not happened yet. If worst comes to worst, I will open that extender for a little bit of extra space and then maybe br bring a little bit more and check, uh, check the bag. If I have to check the bag, I will check the bag, but I try to make sure I do not check a bag and I have been good on that front for the last nine years. Let's not break any cycles over here. Also, I'm going to get questions about what do you do with your dirty clothes? I know some people pack pillowcases and all that. Just because I pack efficiently enough that I wear every clothing item that I bring, I typically can get away with putting things back into that bigger cube, that bigger blue cube. and that being my dirty clothes and most of the time even if it's dirty or clean i have like maybe a couple outfits i didn't wear i still wash it when i get back just because it was all in the same suitcase there's nothing wrong with washing clothes like there's no rule against washing clothes that might not have been worn it's it's okay so those are my tips and tricks for packing if you have any questions about anything leave them down below i'm happy to answer it make sure though that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't we want all the love and support over here on this channel as well as we want you to hit that subscribe button don't miss a thing i do over here and follow me on instagram at leahlevine89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching